everybody especially warm welcome for all Witcher fans. Today we will review all Witcher steelbooks. But before I will start with that, let me give you very short introduction in Witcher's history. Obviously from what is relevant for a collector. Geralt of Rivia, as a book character, was born late of 80s, beginning of 90s in Poland. At that time, there was a very strong demand for fantasy books in the whole region. Combine that with the down-to-earth stories and you will get a local success. Especially true for other Slavic countries like Czech Republic, Slovakia, at that time Czechoslovakia, then Russia, at that time Soviet Union, and few other neighbors like Hungary, Germany, spread it up to Italy. Later on, CD project happened. They were new, rather small and still beginning and not having proper funds. As a result, they had to forget about any kind of other bigger franchise and they were looking locally. And they have found what they were looking for. Books about Witcher and Siri from Andrzej Sapkowski. It so happened that the rights at the time were not expensive. Okay, not that cheap either from Polish point of view, but still manageable. And so the first game, Witcher, was born. The decision was to use the localized name of the game for the strongest regions. As a result, in Poland this game is known as Wiedzmin, in Czech Republic and Slovakia it is Zaklinač, and in Russia it is Viedmak. Everybody else got standardized English name Witcher. While this was a wise move for the first game, in order to attract more potential customers, it is slowly backfiring against CD Projekt Red now. Because right now they got worldwide success, meaning uniform name, just like Assassin's Creed franchise has, would have been better, especially for merchandising. For those that do not know how to write these names in Google, I will leave them below so that you can use them when you are searching for specific items. With that in mind, let's go and check all available steel books. The oldest of them all is for first Witcher game. It was released only in Germany in a special steel book edition. It is silver and rather simple. In front there is the famous Witcher medallion and on the back is the whole description of the game in German. After that, nothing was released for Witcher 2, Assassin of Kings game, but all was compensated for Witcher 3. There we have actually three different steelbooks. All of them have Geralt on the front side and something else on the back side. And they are made in a very interesting blending manner. So on the bottom of that busty look, there is actually a real scene from the game. So for the steelbook that was distributed with collector's edition, backside was picturing head of Siri. Additional two scenes from game are Geralt walking to see her father and Geralt fighting some kind of monsters. Either it is a banshee or a plague maiden. Not 100% sure here. Second one is so-called Skellige Edition. 
you could get it as a pre-order bonus from some retailers, for example from Best Buy. On front side it depicts again Geralt and on the back side Eredin. As for the two game scenes, one is some kind of fight in the woods, but no enemy shown there. And another one is Geralt facing General of Eredin. If I am not mistaken, it is Karantir. And then there was third one. This one seems to be the rarest these days. It is so-called Novigrad version, and it was, to my understanding, only available in Poland. It depicts Geralt on one side and both witches on the other side, Yennefer and Triss. Additionally, there are also two fight scenes. One is fighting what I think is Fogler, and another one is fighting a Grafin. With all that, we could have been finished now. However, starting from late 2017 up to mid of 2018, a special 10 years anniversary of Witcher games was released in Poland. These are three special steelbooks. If you remember what I told you about that name, so now that name is kicking back. It is because all of them have written Polish name of Witcher game on them. Steelbook for Witcher 1 is depicting Striga in her full ugliness. Steelbook for Witcher 2 has a flying golden dragon on it. Wow! I would say I like this one the best from these three. And Steelbook for Witcher 3 has the fight with Fiend. Do not mix up with Lashen. Yes, they look a little bit similar, at least when it comes to those antlers. This last Steelbook is also available in smaller size for Xbox One or PS4 versions. And with this one, dear Witcher fans, we are ending today's sessions. Next time we will be talking about collector's editions. More precisely about what kind of craziness happened with Witcher 1 collector's editions. If if you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to comment if you like any of these steelbooks, if you have any of them and if you would like to have a different one. Thank you very much! Bye!